Today we will discuss high hemoglobin and hematocrit in a simple and easy to understand way. What causes your hemoglobin and hematocrit levels to rise? Imagine your blood as a busy highway. Hemoglobin and hematocrit are like the vehicles on this road. Hemoglobin is a protein in your red blood cells that carries oxygen, while hematocrit is a measure of how many red blood cells you have compared to the total blood volume. But what happens when there's a traffic jam, when these levels get too high? In adults, high hemoglobin and hematocrit levels can be due to various reasons. It could be something as simple as dehydration, where there's less liquid in your blood, making the red blood cells more concentrated. Or it could be a sign of something more complex, like polycythemia. Polycythemia is when your body makes too many red blood cells. This can happen for several reasons. Relative polycythemia. This is often due to loss of body fluids, like in dehydration from not drinking enough water, or losing fluids due to conditions like diarrhea or vomiting. Absolute polycythemia. This can be primary, where there's a problem in the cells producing red blood cells, often due to genetic mutations. Secondary polycythemia occurs when your body responds to low oxygen levels by making more red blood cells. This could be due to lung diseases, living at high altitudes, or certain tumors that affect oxygen levels in the body. When should you be alarmed by high hemoglobin and hematocrit levels? High levels of hemoglobin and hematocrit can thicken your blood, making it harder for it to flow through small blood vessels. This can lead to serious problems like blood clots. So, when should you be concerned? If you experience symptoms like visual disturbances, confusion, chest pain, or unexpected swelling in your limbs, it's time to seek immediate medical attention. Critical levels. In women, hemoglobin levels above 16.0 or a hematocrit above 48%, and in men levels above 16.5 or a hematocrit above 49% are considered high and need prompt evaluation. How do doctors investigate high hemoglobin and hematocrit levels? When your doctor finds high hemoglobin or hematocrit levels, they'll want to find out why. This involves repeat tests. A second complete blood count, CBC, might be done to confirm the initial findings. Assessing symptoms. Your doctor will look for symptoms like itching, pain and redness in extremities or abdominal pain, which could suggest specific conditions like polycythemia vera. Further testing. Depending on your symptoms and initial test results, your doctor might order additional tests like pulse oximetry to measure oxygen levels in your blood liver tests, electrolytes, and tests for kidney function. They may also check the level of erythropoietin, EPO, in your blood, which is a hormone that stimulates red blood cell production. Specialized tests. In some cases, genetic testing or a bone marrow exam might be necessary to understand the root cause. Be sure to follow up with your healthcare provider for the next step.